Hey y'all, this is Cheryl and thanks for joining me for another digital scrapbooking process video. Today I am going to be scrapping some photos of the trees in my backyard and I'll be using a bundle called Great Outdoors Earth Friendly by Kristen Cronin Barrow at Sweet Shop Designs. I begin with a blank canvas and place my uh, two photos kind of, um, kind of started going in a little grid pattern. Um, but I kind of liked the way the portrait photo and the landscape photo kind of seemed to flow together. <laughs> They're two totally separate photos, but I liked how the um, branches of the tree kind of seemed to go across both photos. And of course, I have to use a wood grain paper. I try the corrugated cardboard and it just wasn't right. I liked the wood grain better. So I'm just uh, layering some pieces underneath the photos and I'll just, as I usually do, begin layering things. That twig frame, again, not using my frames like frames around photos. I am using them as layering pieces. And some paint into the background. And the, this particular layout is not about me necessarily being an environmentalist. Um, I am certainly not an organic person. I, um, I don't have a garden. I, only recently I've started recycling because our trash service began offering it. Before that I wasn't willing to expend the time and energy to actually take it to our local landfill um, to have that taken care of or to recycling centers. So I mean I clean up after myself when we go to the beach I don't leave trash when we go to the river same thing you know when I'm out and about you know I don't leave things hanging around but um, I do love trees and these are oak trees they're live oak trees and we live on a street called Live Oak Lane which I think is very appropriate but um, I grew up in on a piece of property that was quite large. It's actually family property. So it's my grandmother, my mother, and my dad. They all live on this big piece of property. And my mom's property, I don't know how many acres it is, but there are quite a few trees and they're like this. They're just branches over reach and uh, the leaves are gorgeous. And I don't know, I just love them. So I think that you know, growing up where I did, that's where this love of, of trees come from. Now, I love the leaves, especially in the spring when they've been kind of dark green and brown, about like they are in these pictures, because you can still see, um, you can see that the green is really like a really light green, um, and that's because they were just starting to, to change a little bit. And this, these photos were taken in February, so things start changing <laughs> around here pretty early in the year in Florida. Um, anyway, I like the leaves at this point in time, but I don't like them in the fall when they just come down. And sometimes it's like it's rain. There are so many, because there are so many live oaks in our yard, front and back, that uh, it's just leaves everywhere. So we do have a lot of flower beds and that helps so we can rake leaves straight into those to use as mulch. But um, they're definitely worth it because in the spring and summer, um, even in the fall and winter, and depending on, you know, if it's a mild winter or not, those leaves provide such a decrease in temperature you know, it's a, a difference between being able to sit outside and not being able to sit outside. So, um, uh, I really like too how they 
you know, when the sun comes through and you can see the little sun flare in that landscape photo, when it comes through and the way it makes the dappled light on the grass, it's just like a carpet. It's so pretty and yeah, okay. So you can see, I definitely am not, you know, a save the earth kind of gal, but I do love things uh, in nature, particularly trees, and so I don't like to see them taken down. We did have one struck by lightning, um, and then another one uh, during a hurricane, a pine tree fell, and it actually hit the oak in front of our house and then hit the house itself. This was many moons ago when we first moved into the house. We'd been here like three weeks when this happened. But the oak was damaged by the pine tree and we had to take it down. So we've lost two trees in the course of us being here and it was absolute necessity. My husband keeps threatening that he's going to get rid of the trees in the backyard because, you know, as we get older, he's tired of, you know, doing all the upkeep. But um, I'm really glad he doesn't because... Um, it provides such shade and um, sometimes in the summer it can just be really brutal around here with the humidity and heat. So while I've been rambling on about, man, I was really waxing poetic there. Um, I, I really do love trees. Um, I've been layering and adding pieces. Um, you can see, you know, the flowers that I've added and Everything is really kind of centered on the right side of the page. So I just began, um, you know, adding some more flowers in and just kind of, I do end up moving some to different points here. Shortly I add in some smaller flowers. So, and I'm just duplicating those by clicking on the layer, and when you press the Alt key on your keyboard uh, on a PC, and you click on the element, and you drag it away, it duplicates it for you. So, it's really easy to have multiple, you know, create multiple uh, items without having to continually drag them in over and over again. So I do add some paint in here and that is so I can have a spot to place my journaling and yes I will wax poetic on that. I'm reducing the opacity just a little bit and I do duplicate it as well and move some to the top of the layout. So here you're going to see the completed layout. I really thank you for joining me. If you like my videos, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.